ABC 7 business commentator Richard Stern is joining us now. And Richard, records continue on Wall Street. And Haley, we have no complaints about that because the records are all with up arrows. Uh, you may recall we've seen not too long ago a new record close for the Dow, a new record close for the S&P 500. So today it was the NASDAQ's turn. Yes, the NASDAQ closed at an all-time record high. We did see a record high on the 15th of August, went backwards, and now we went forward again. The Dow was in positive territory for the majority of the day, the top to bottom range being exactly 100 points. The high of the day was plus 59, the low of the day minus 41, but we finished a lot closer to the high than we did to the low. Let's take a look at the numbers. There you see the Dow adding 46 points, exactly one quarter of 1%, closing at 18,538.12 on volume of 689 million shares. Drum roll for the NASDAQ. There's the record up 26 points, exactly one half of 1% at 5,275.91. That on volume of 1,717,000,000 shares. The S&P joined the party as well, up three-tenths of 1%, six and a half points at 2,186.48. Well, from time to time, I've talked about the big problems that retailers seem to be having, and there's one common thread. It's a competitor by the name of Amazon. Well, guess what? Amazon today, it too closed at an all-time record high. Its company's value now, believe it or not, is $370 billion. That is only behind, in order, Apple, Google, and Microsoft as the most valuable companies in this country. And speaking of value, Jeff Bezos, who of course is the founder and the driving force behind Amazon, well, his net worth is now estimated to be $67 billion. That was billion with a B, not, not too bad. Not at all. And Richard, what's your crystal ball say about tomorrow? Well, I won't tell you about the market, but I'll tell you about Apple. Apple tomorrow is having their famous event, as they call it, which will be the introduction of the iPhone 7 changes to the iWatch and probably a few surprises as well. So that will make for a very interesting day tomorrow. We'll see what the reaction to that is, yeah. All right, Richard, thank you.